Fine citizens of Ape America, it is I, your president, mon monkey president, me, Mr. Samuel Streamer. As you are watching this monkey video, almost certainly will the brand new RimWorld DLC be released, Biotech and 1.4. There has been major monkey speculation to whether or not I'm going to do a second simultaneous series as I did with uh, Ideology when we did the <laughs> horrible series that was for Cru Suit Crusaders. And the long answer is... Maybe. And the really long answer is probably at some stage, yes. Uh, we will carry on, of course, with Monkey City. And simultaneously, I will attempt, emphasis on attempt, to have an additional secondary series. Probably very, very much not edited or very lightly edited. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll edit it. Fine. Okay. Be full of memes. Where we play along in biotech. I actually already have an idea for it. So that will happen soon. There will be monkey and there will be biotech. And I'm going to try and keep them very separate. So <laughs> I'm going to do something very much. What's the opposite of monkey? Because that's what we'll do in biotech. What is the opposite of monkey? Again, I can't promise two episodes every day. Jesus Christ. It's like whales. Can't promise two episodes every day. Uh, but, you know, stay tuned. See what there is. There may be one remote. There may be two. There may be none on occasion because I've got a lot of real life stuff to do. Either I'll be moving house very soon or I'll be moving in with my parents very soon. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a society we live in. Now, in the previous episode of Monkey City, King Brutus, Monkey King, stands tall and proud. Uh, so tall that the very tip of his hat is cut off, but um, you won't notice that if I don't mention it. Big, beautiful Brutus himself looks better than ever before. He has a monkey minigun. Our people are fully upgraded with monkey tools, monkey weapons, and we have monkey industry all the power and resources we could ever need now all we need is something to build out of all these resources that we have and don't need i think specifically we have too many resources <laughs> yeah yeah no we've got too many we've got too many resources wow i wonder why the raids are so hard he says i wonder why repeatedly the zombies are able to kick the front door and he says simultaneously the colony wealth has skyrocketed to five hundred thousand dollars america what are you doing to that monkey little pig so today we need to put all these resources to good use because the next raid we get is going to hit like a goddamn truck the monkey turrets have proven themselves effective they've proven themselves very fantastic and again i'm trying to not overuse them because they are very powerful but we're at the stage now where there are so many zombies you know there are hundred zombies per raid that the monkey turrets aren't effective because they're running out of ammo when you've got, you know, 18 monkey turrets shooting a single zombie, you're losing too much ammo too fast. I hate to say it, it might be time to retire or at least reinstall the monkey turrets elsewhere. And of course, the goal continues to be, you guessed it, monkey superpowers. That is going to be the plan for today. I already have a good idea for a lab planned out, but that's for the future. We're going to type in the word turret. Lots of people in the comment section yesterday were saying, please, for God's sake, change the turrets. And honestly, I kind of agree. What about monkey auto cannons? They're not, they're not, they're not to do with monkeys. Maybe I could do a crit retexture. <laughs> we do, however, of course, have the multi analyzer, which we should probably start on straight away. Honestly, I'm happy with the research lab the way it is. I probably won't change this going forward because, I mean, what else am I going to change? We don't have like advanced multi analyzers this time or scientist cabinets or anything. So this is acceptable. This is more than good enough. There's plenty of room. They can move around. They, they, no one gets to sit here, but mainly it's so Dr. Zayas and Brutus can stare at each other. Hang on. Dr. Zaius and Brutus can... There you go. Can, no, that's a violent cabinet. There we are. Can stare at each other. They can lock eyes across the research table. Now, the plan for the monkey research lab is very simple. We have the old prison. Because, of course, last episode we built a far fancier, far nicer looking prison over here. With a little prison courtyard. And the world... You might think, oh, what a cute chinchilla. No. Arson. Wanted for arson. Imprisoned for arson. Heinous crimes involving a van and some sweeties. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chinchilla. I shouldn't throw you under the bus like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of Brutus. You're drinking the stinky water. How He's getting diarrhea now, yet he didn't get diarrhea in the first few episodes when we had the corpses directly flowing into the river. Never mind. We're going to tear down Old Monkey Prison. Oh, okay. Just Old Monkey Prison, not the rest of Monkey Paradise. This is all going to go. We're going to get all of this gone. And instead, this entire bottom half of this pod... It's going to be big banana shape, obviously, because it's pretty much that anyway, right? And then we're going to have the monkey genetics labs right in the center of the colony. And I think what we should also do is replace these palisade walls with full-on adenana and then replace this one with the, with the embrasure walls like I talked about. That we've got a little defensive pod leading into, like even more defenses leading to an even the final wall. And then it'll be completely secured behind three massive walls. Well, more than three, obviously, because it's like a wall. Then this is also a wall. There's another wall going in. You get the idea. Oh, 
And then the distractions start piling in, and then it's another six episodes before we get monkey superpowers. Well, Welsh Terriers! <laughs> Hello! Well, I mean, at least they're slightly larger than the tiny little horrible dogs we've had before. Finally! King Brutus gets to test the monkey minigun. Bucky is now bait, don't forget. This is a very sensible triple airlock system. This is probably some of the greatest monkey monkey mechanics you've ever seen. In fact, I really need to do this area, don't I? So let's put the banana fellas here. No. Otherwise, they might end up blowing the doors off. Let's put the banana fellas here and here. Explosive weapons right on the outside where they'll cause less damage. Blank check as a sniper can come right to the back. Uh, like, oh, that's not blank check. That's a wall. <laughs> Resurrected Lars and Quality Builder can go there. Dr. Zaius, wherever. I mean, they've only got machine pistols. Obviously, we'll change that. And then Brutus can go right there. That's perfect. That is perfect. IEDs. <laughs> oh, no, no. You can't laugh at that. <laughs> it's, it's manure. Oh! <laughs> It's manure, it's manure. <laughs> wow. They're like seismic charges. They wipe out the entire row. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, they're already so squishy. Well, I think that was a fantastic test of King Brutus's minigun. We can all agree. <laughs> Where is King Brutus? Fucking hell, fella. Right, get down here. I can at least use this moment to sort the... Sort the positioning out a little bit. I think that's what we need. The banana characters in the middle, because they can't hit the important and very vulnerable doors from that position, right? Kane might be able to, but that would be a hell of a shot. More importantly, he can't breach all of the airlocks from where he stood, right? There's always there's always a bit of a fallback. Keep those over there. They fire in the middle. They're going to throw down those bananas anyway, right? For the for the next pack of very cute dogs to slip up on. Brutus can can glow them as they come through the front gate. Blank check can obviously see them from, from miles back there. Man, it'd be good to put you... Like, so you can see right the way down. You know, I think you're fine where you are. And then the people with the machine pistols, it's not perfect. We do need to swap this out. But I think that's good enough for now. I look forward to the next zombie raid. Well done, team. Well handled. <laughs> grove. An anima grove for King Brutus. A reasonable little anima garden, I think. What? Focus affected by banana peel. <laughs> that way, when King Brutus eventually gets his rank so that he can sit on his throne properly, when we set up a faction and get some monkey bestowers installed, this is going to be amazing. Private little Adam Grove, and again, it's right in the middle of the base, too. I know it doesn't look like it because the base is all, uh, it's a little bit misleading with this thing, but it is right smack bang in the middle of Monkey City. I love that quite a lot. And then over here is the, the preparation for what is going to be the monkey labs. Because I can't really make it a banana shape anymore, can I? Um. Ah, oh, the sacred banana shape we might have to forget about. I might have to make it freeform like the research labs. That's unfortunate, but I don't think we have a choice. Oh, I'm sorry, little one. I'm sorry, there's not enough food for the rams because wherever I've set them patches of, of ground, just trees grow. It's all just trees. <laughs> there is only one thing for it. I'm sorry. Equip? Well, we can give the animals equipment. I must tame a monkey. We, wait, we can take, we could just tame a gorilla and give it a gun? Oh. <laughs> uh, mandrill. Yes, give me mandrill. We already have a tame monkey. Monkey one. Hello. Uh, equip. Hang on. Monkey weapon. i I just aim at the cabinet, see what it pulls out. What have you got? <laughs> this has got a knife. <laughs> the monkey's got a knife. I can't draft the monkey up, though. Uh, hello? That sounded close. Oh, it was close. Hello. They have fallen in the sacred grove. Either they are very blessed or we should put them to death. Chemical interest, fisherman, bloodlust. Construction, 10 double passion. Hello. Uh, artistic, 10 double passion. Do we have a good artist in the colony right now? No. Trout, my friend. Welcome. I'm sorry. It's for your own good. This jungle doesn't grow any sheep food. Oh, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Lars also has no idea what he's doing. Our actual animal keeper, Bucky, is incapable of violent. So you got to send in resurrected zombie Lars to come and take out all these sheep. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? We've only just rescued you, you little penis. Wait, they can have Scarrier that lasts. Okay, well, that's obviously bullshit. For God's sake, well, there goes our artist. Academian workaholic gourmand. Look at this. 
10 medical double passion, intellectual 12 double passion. Wowee. Medical 10 quality, 20% from Academian. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, welcome aboard, I suppose. Our human numbers in the colony have dropped fairly significantly over the past two episodes, especially given that one turned into an orangutan. <laughs> A zombie orangutan, too. Don't let me undersell it, okay? Uh, hello. Would you like to be cured of the zombie virus? Well, first things first. How many chunks have we got left? Bloody loads. How much banana seer have we got? Banan... Ban ba it's called banana... Banana seer. There we are. Question is, who the hell do I want to cure? We've only got two cures. And ideally, I'd like to keep one in storage for if any of our regular people get infected. So really, we've got to pick one of them. I mean, trout's are relevant because you're dead. Um, Scott Barnes. Chemical interest fisherman, bloodlust, construction tender, or passion. I think I'll save Bo. I think Bo is just, like, really good. Can't ever notice a lot of things have changed. We've got uh, ape togetherness. That's just their mood. That's good. <laughs> ape to get the strong. This represents how happy or stressed someone is. If the mood gets too low, the person may suffer a mental ape down. Depending on how low their togetherness is, someone who has a mental break may have minor breaks or a major break like going absolutely bananas. And then we've got bananas. That's their food. Uh, he's obviously sleeping. Monkeying around must be uh, rec recreation, of course. What's return to monkey? Oh, that's, that's outdoors, right? That's like outdoors need. Wow, look at how happy King Brutus is. Ignore the fact he had two mental breakdowns. Mental ape downs. Sorry. Your genetics lab is looking quite nice. Maybe we'll have a main monkey genetics lab and then we could throw in like, um, like the incubators and things like that into a separate building. That might be a good idea. Hans joined. Another milkman for the milkman squad. <laughs> Hello, fella. Oh, he's my favorite Marvel character, Barnes Bucky. Are you actually capable of violent though or is it, are you joining the milk? Oh, he's good. It's okay. He's fine. He can join us. Chemical interest, fisherman, bloodlust. You weren't that good. Wait, didn't I not cure you? Oh, I got some bad news, fella. <laughs> yeah, I'm not curing him. Um, construction den double passion. If we do that, we can't then make more banana seer for an emergency cure. We don't have five zombie chunks unless those dart berries have grown, which they still. Wait, surely we've had a harvest of dart berries by now. Berry, dart, raw dart berries. How many have we got? What? How does this keep happening? I don't think we've had a single friggin' dart berry harvest in time. They're, they're not roofed over. Why? The petals are fine. I don't understand. Dark berries. I feel like I'm going mad. Have they used it to make medicine? Maybe that's it. No, clearly not. We've got 10 advanced herbal medicine. Okay, so to be fair, we can cure another zombie virus. I suppose, but I guess they're intentionally supposed to be rare just because it counts as basic one industrial medicine. Uh... Cure Scaria. Cure Scaria with Banana Seer. It is just five. You're driving me nuts. It was called Zombie Virus. <laughs> three. It's three. Okay. So we could cure him and still have enough for a backup. Even though these things suck. Maybe I should replace one of the big areas with it. That'd be a good idea. Do we need cotton? Fine. All right. Okay, old man. Congratulations. You're getting cured. Unbelievable. I basically got bullied into it. What was that noise? Oh, my psychoid. I need those for monkey adventures. Monkey, monkey mad time. Please cut the psychoid fast. Oh, shit. That's going to spread to the whole farm. You know what we should do? Fire break between the farms. I mean, this one's not so bad, but like over here, that would be nuts. That way we're losing one crop at a time and not the whole bloody thing. Ah, maybe that is a good idea. Now, before we start the gun research to replace the... Uh, do we have the multi analyzer? We do. Before we start the gun research to replace the uh, crappy machine pistols, what do we replace in the idea legend? Uh, assault rifles. I, I think that's pretty much the best thing on there. Mono swords, plasma swords too. Oh, cool. Right, precision rifling it is then. And that's pretty much as far as we're going to go with monkey weapons. Sure, we could go pulse charge munitions, but it's not in the... Ch it's not banana shaped. I'm not going to do that. Stick to the rules. I'm also going to queue up fabrication, advanced fabrication, but... And this may come as a shock to you all, so I hope you're sitting down. Building all your buildings in the shape of a banana isn't the most effective way to do it when everything else is basically bound to bloody squares. I'm telling you, the next base is going to be a giant, giant square base. It's going to be a big square. A big interconnected square. What do you mean I've said that two series in a row now? Let's throw... Uh, you know what? We'll just, we'll just build a new one. That's fine. So if you throw one there, we could definitely fit down a couple of fabrication benches up here, but it's going to be tight. Oh, solar flare! We were almost done as well, you shits. That was precision rifling. What about fab... Oh, because the multi-analyzer went offline. That's very clever. <laughs> Strange, you claim to have played this game before, but you seem to know nothing about it. Very, uh, very suspicious. Uh, it's true. 
Someone else records all this and then I just commentate over the top. That's why I have no idea what's happening half the time. I have to justify very strange decisions that don't always... Like, who who made this work tree? Probably an idiot. Well, I want to see who... Wasn't Dr. Zeus? Oh, he's capable of... A linking ritual. What if Brutus gets the superpowers and Zeus gets the psychos? Wait, Brutus already has a psychos. Well, that's because he needs it to be an acolyte. What if Dr. Zeus gets the, uh, the superpowers because he's the scientist... And Brutus gets that, because he's uh, like a philosopher, warrior, monkey king, sticks to the more natural type, meditating up the banana anima tree. Ah, oh, it all makes sense. It doesn't, but I'm going to pretend it does. <laughs> the, the best part is if I keep saying it makes sense, eventually people will think, yeah, no, that that, that does make sense. He's right. Uh, what have we got? Monkey business, meditate, monkey around. Okay, so we want to say meditate for Dr. Zeus every day. Do it. Let's give, let's give the man side powers. Why the hell not? There's no reason not to. It's, it's a very natural colony. We're going low-tech, high-tech, where we're weaving technology into the natural monkey lifestyle. Can anybody else? Z can also meditate. Interesting. And so can Barnes. Ah. Okay, well, we'll have you growing anima grass on, on behalf of Dr. Zeus. It's rifling. Right, so let's go for some better guns. What have we got going on in here? Dense below that. Field research kit. Oh, that's really cool. So you give them a research kit as they go out and examine things as part of their research. It gives them a research bonus. That's very cool. But it does take up the the utility slot. Layer satchel covers utility slots. You wouldn't be able to have the anima... Uh, the, the ano... Uh, uh, that, 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 that. I keep wanting to say anima belt. Am, ammo belt. Ammo belt. A little bit of a very ludicrous business venture. I would like... <laughs> Some assault rifles. Monkey assault rifles, in fact. Oh, we've got so many at this point. Let's make sure that they're always pretty decently repaired because we don't want them breaking in combat. And then let's make sure that they are at least, at least, excellent quality. Oh, we can die and style it too. Oh, well, I mean, the monkey style is, of course, irrelevant. Um, oh, this is a cool mod. Which mod is this one? I don't want to I don't want to die it because uh, they look, I mean, if died, they look very bizarre. What the fuck? What a great mod. Wait, what mod is this? Like I said, someone else records this and I just commentate over the top of it. <laughs> to when I was building the mod pack in a fever dream and I'd forgotten all the things I'd added to it. We tamed the mandrel. 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 Uh, mandrel. The fucking stop walking away, man. I've got, a, I've got a weapon for you, my friend. Come and grab something. You can equip a weapon too. Oh, he's so sleepy. <laughs> now we're unstoppable. You mess with Monkey City, you get the monkey knife. Die! Die! <laughs> oh, he's so angry. Did I give the monkey a monkey minigun? The poor thing would probably blast off. <laughs> it seems like a seems like a very sensible idea. Yeah. Now, now to clarify, they do have to be trained in attack before we can before we can draft them up. But the second we can draft up Mandra One, I have a. Very nice surprise for any zombie raiders. Hey, there we go. I don't think we've got any advanced equipment, though, do we? So I don't think we can even build a fabrication. No, nothing. Ooh. Uh, we're going to have to go to the labs to get any... I mean, we're going to the labs anyway, right? But we can't We can't build a damn thing. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> that really is really going to slow things down a bit, huh? Advanced fabrication. Not that we can do anything with it, of course. You know what I think? I think that King Brutus shitting his guts out because he drank some stinky water probably isn't befitting of his station as Monkey King. Oh, I think let's go all in on water filtration, deep wells, washing machines, industrial scale pumps. What about some hot tubs, smart toilets, power showers? What's the point of being Monkey King if you haven't even got fresh, tasty water? Oh, I see he agrees with me. Supreme expectations. Wow, that was... Boy, we were in sync. Me and Brutus. Oh, he's a self-insert. He's always been a self-insert. But there is a lamb out there in the world. The problem is it's really, really, really far away. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, can we justify that? How long would it take just to caravan over? Maybe I should have started taming some more caravan animals. I don't think the monkey is a, a good caravan animal. Um, how long will it take? Three days. Shit. Three days there, three days back. No doubt I'm going to send a bunch of people, then we're going to get zombies turning up by the hundreds. We could, we could send, like, maybe when King Brutus, or maybe when Dr. Zaius, because given that he's our head researcher, and the man knows his way around the lab, when he gets a bunch of Psy powers, we could send him out there solo and transport the pod, the stuff back, because it should be within range. You know what? 
Let's, let's work on that. That seems like a sensible idea. Oh, I hate to say it. I think we might need a change of ideology. We can't make lavish meals because they don't eat meat. And the banana lavish meals use, it, use meat, obviously. I mean, come on. Don't you always have your bananas with meat? So, we're going to have to... Oh, these are fun. We're going to have to change that. Otherwise, they're always going to be sad. People of Monkey City, if we don't eat meat, we're going to eat Lars. That's it. Speech over. Oh. <laughs> I wonder why it didn't work. <laughs> Leave it to Brutus. He will give the speech we need. People of Monkey City, we are friends in this colony and we will not eat our own community. For we are helpful and we are kind. But we must suffer. And we have been suffering for too long by not having delicious meat meals. Oh, God. Dr. Zayas is in here screaming. Have this man escorted out of monkey monkey council. Come on, Dr. Zayas. No pressure. No pressure. Ah! They're good enough for me. That's, that's, uh, people have spoken. Okay, look, fine, I admit, maybe they should have eaten meat from the start, okay? Great apes love, humans are great apes. They love meat. I eat chicken tendies all the time. That just a bushel of lemons. Cane. Oh, he left behind some delicious chocolate. Strange. <laughs> They're still going to be upset about killing innocent animals, right? So we have to decide, is it worth killing those animals to have delicious meaty meals? And the answer is yes. Yes, it yes it is. It's very much worth that. Mathematically, it really depends on how many things we kill. How sad are you about that? Kill the innocent capybara, minus five. But delicious meals do give more of a boost than that. Why is there a stone cutting? For the Adonana. <laughs> I thought I'd lost more of my mind than usual. Oh, people are just constantly going nuts and fighting one another, and I don't think any sort of fancy toilet or nice furniture is ever gonna fix this. I've got to deal with some of the colony wealth. The temptation to just firebomb the stockpile is, um, tremendous. No. I mean, it would solve, it would solve all of our problems pretty much instantly. <laughs> what, what would burn? What would burn? We'd lose, like, a load of wood. All the spare crops, but we already have loads over here. We'd lose the cloth. But I could. I don't know if this will work. God save the king. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> Lock the door. <laughs> right. That should solve the colony wealth problems. What do we, what do we peak up there? About 573,000. Oh, the potassium. Well, you know what? I'm going to turn off firefighting for a second. Ah, oh, no more mental breakdowns. No more social fights. Oh, we've got a lot of cloth in the stockpile. I expect gold. I expect my clothes to be gold, my food to be gold. 4,000 smoke leaves sitting around. I deserve luxury. Doesn't make any sense, really, does it? Doesn't make any sense. I, this, is the, this is the system. The system is corrupt. It's got a fire break around it, so in theory, this won't get too out of hand. In theory. <laughs> Monsoon. Actually, that's good timing. That's good timing. Thank you, Monsoon. I'll put out all the rest of the fire naturally. And there you go. Look at that. Perfect. Wow. That's amazing. We kept up. We kept up the majority of like the valuable stuff. We might have to go blow up some steel or or something to that effect. Yeah, we might have to blow up some, and some plant and some gold. We might have to blow up a lot of resources. When we get transport pods in the future. We can just blast stuff off to the middle of nowhere. We can just launch stuff into the ocean. You know the way you are supposed to dispose of things that you don't want anymore. <laughs> I wonder if banana slurry counts as biofuel. I think I think it probably should. Well, I don't know if it does. Otherwise, we're going to have to start smelting bananas down in a different way. All right, there you go. There you go. You can sleep now. You can sleep now. I wanted to just force them to finish that off so that we could actually lower this colony wealth a little further. The transport pods are built. The guns are made. The lab is prepared. Now all we need is some fancy equipment. Oh, and oh, by the way, there are um, 136 zombies here. <laughs> Boy, I really hope those um, in your IEDs do some good work because this is ridiculous. My God, the zombies are finally here. Oh, but this time we have a weapon. A top secret weapon. Ligma, could you get back to your position, please? That's right. At long last, rather than monkeys throwing stones, we have a monkey with a grenade launcher. <laughs> you thought I was going to say auto cannon. To be honest, I still don't think it'll be enough. Wow, they are just taking the hits and running with it. Literally just running with it. Fucking hell. What if we put IEDs all the way down the side, and then when the top zombie touched the top IED, it sent a chain reaction, 
and blow up all of the zombies while they're in the tunnel. That's a good idea. I like that a lot. Oh, Bucky. Oh, did I set the door to hold open? That's not ideal. <laughs> there you go. Mandra 1 is helping out uh, King Brooks, apparently. I didn't... How did you just get shot? Oh, my God. The monkey turret back there can see... Okay, okay. You know, we need to move Mandra 1 somewhere where his grenade launcher antics aren't going to blow up the front door. They've got quite a large range to them, though, don't they? You could do with an extra person refueling the turrets in between waves. I mean, the monkey turrets we can't really refuel because it takes us, what, like a thousand wood? Something ridiculous. Oh! Wow, that was bloody close. <laughs> Mandra 1, I can't move him. He's got a mind of his own. He is only a monkey, after all. They have broken through and they start to go into the farms what oh that's a person a person from a drop pod i presume <laughs> they have escaped into what was the land field we're going team oh that mandrel's gonna screw us it's gonna fire at this wall it's gonna blow this to pieces and then we're doomed can you repair on the diagonal get it fella yes we might as well have you doing some good work <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is silly what a silly game. Oh, the fire. That might help. Sorry, Bucky, but just in case, I need you to shut that door as well. You're going to be a, a, a willing sacrifice, my friend. Oh! Medical emergency animals. Oh, my God, Mandra 1! Oh, that's a real problem. I don't think he's going to make it through in time, but I will give it an honest go. Bucky's breaking down. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Okay, we've been breached again. Fuck me. These raids are so stupid. I hate them. I hate them to death. Save your king. Save King Brutus. Oh my god, let me get distracted by the monkey turrets. Okay, come down here. We can keep shooting them as they come up through. But Bucky can get fucked. Fucky Bucky. What have you done? Look at the damage. To be honest, we did pretty good, I think. Mandra 1 is gone. No, we've lost a hero today, god damn it. Well, I would say we had a spare sarcophagus given Lars got back up, but even that's not true. Oh. On the plus side, this kill box idea was far better. This has worked a lot better than what we had before. Fallbacks on fallbacks on fallbacks. They're distracted going through punching the turrets. Oh, that's, that's a problem. Oh. We've just got to be careful that they don't breach through here. Otherwise, we are in a lot of trouble. Someone needs to go grab Bucky. Someone needs to go grab Bucky, but they, they're going to come through and smash all the turrets, even if they're not operational. Just be careful you don't smash the wall. Those palisades are very delicate. Okay, King Brutus never leaves a man behind. Carry Bucky. No, stop firing your minigun for two seconds, Brutus. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. King support kings. Done. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. We're safe. We're safe. He's through. Okay, chuck, chuck the man down. We'll patch him up quick, even though he doesn't really do I suppose he helped out. He helped out, but he just didn't have the bottle. Ten Bucky. Put the, put the minigun down, Brutus. Oh, blank check. Blank check's about to walk into the horde. I mean, there isn't much of a horde left, to be fair. Oh, my God. We might be able to shadow blank check and just go search and destroy at this point. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Keep going. Follow. Follow blank check. There actually aren't that many left. There's like two. Just go search and destroy. Oh, shit. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Oh, my God. Um, Rescue. Rescue. Rescue Bucky. Actually, like straight up rescue Bucky then. I think we're done. I think we're safe. I'm giving up on the leaving. Victory! Do we have victory? Victory, he says. <laughs> Look at all the chunks. How many? 125! 173! The cures we can churn out with that. Holy crap. It's all thanks to me letting the colony wealth get significantly out of hand. Look, we dropped it down by a good 70,000, and now it's picked right back up again! Build the transport pods. We're blasting all this shit into the ocean. Fuck the turtles. I think the I IED idea, the IED, <laughs> they're horrific weapons of war. I think if we put one right at the top there, are you fucking joking? Oh, he died on the operating table, to be fair. Well, never mind. Life goes on. Anyway, <laughs> if, we have, <laughs> if we have an ID here that connects to two more IEDs there that blow IEDs up down this line... I mean, they don't have that much of a... Oh, you know, it will probably do some good damage. It's a two-block radius. So if we hit one there and one there, then we'd have to put another one back here, right? 
and have it trigger all the way down. We'd have to make this wall like five blocks thick on both sides. But it would be amazing because then when the zombie gets to the end, but basically where I've just built that wall, they would trigger an IED that would shoot through the walls, shoot down, and then sh the, the explosions would go across like a shot wave. Oh, that would be amazing. Okay, you know what? I'm committing to the idea. What's this? Oh, fecal sludge. That's good. Let's gather up the zombies for the uh, potentially inevitable zombie city idea. Lots of people are like, well, why would they capture the zombies given that they're supposed to be monkeys versus zombies? What's better than using the zombies for the monkeys' own gain? If we pull off all the all the lethal bits, like I said, declaw and de-teeth them, it's just free manual labor. <laughs> 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 oh, the other prisoner died. Why did she die? Chinchilla paw? I don't think she died from a chinchilla paw. She was attacked by a toucan. <laughs> what? Did she go berserk and break the door down? Well, how on earth would we have been... Oh, this whole thing must have counted as a prison because it's all enclosed. So it's very possible she escaped and attacked a toucan and died. That's very bizarre, because all, all of the entire section would have counted as a prison, right? Because it's still very much enclosed. Oh, what a moron. So we have the transport ponds to cut the journey time down. We have the lab ready to go at any point. Jill's got to get some stuff to fill it with. Now we've got all the zombies for Zombie City. There's nothing left to do besides head out there into the world. Well, I mean, there's obviously shitloads. There's a ridiculous amount of stuff to do. But that's my next task. And that'll be the plan for tomorrow. And you know what? We're going to do that basically as fast as possible because we've just had a big raid. So we've got a few days breathing time. Honestly, we could probably get to a lab and back even if it gets quite far out there. They're only spawned in. Um, we've only got the ancient complex for now. Not really interested. That's just for, the, that's just for the, uh, the relic. Your king is sick of the monkey turrets betraying him. So now it's time. Monkey gets their own monkey power. Dr. Zaius gets monkey magic. This is going to be much better. Never again will a zombie kick in the front gates of this city. And I've said that probably about four or five times now. To be fair, I think a lot of that was uh, our own grenade launchers. Oh, the turret's exploding. All that and more tomorrow once again in Monkey City. And maybe some Rimworld 1.4 with, with, with biotech as well. I've already got biotech. So I'm looking forward to finally being able to do some content on that. That'll be fun. Hopefully going up tomorrow or whenever it's released. Thank you, in the meantime, to Kemp McCullough, Tapscott, Chief Chair, Nexus, Shiftless Pagan, Squiggly Lines, Squinty Chimera, Chase Tiffany, Dan Cool, W, Nuanced Fart, Lawbringer, Michaela Davis, Alluvion Mishap, Kieran Duffy, Commissar JK, Jamie McBee, Akrana, Fexen, Zoni the Beard, Lee Zero, The Long Half, Psycheray, Mega Oscar Pone, Scubert, Drastanus, Akimbo Orphans, and Mark Spectre Shadow for their support over at the Executive Producer Tears over on Patreon. Patrons, I've responded to every single one of you despite Patreon messaging being difficult. However, if you haven't received a message, please, again, follow me up with another, another message. I apologize. I went on a bit of a rant on Twitter at Patreon support over this because... Shit, I mean, it's so bad. I was sending messages they weren't sending. I was refreshing the page. Patrons were being replaced with unknown. I was talking about it in the Discord, and there's pictures of it all up on uh, Twitter as well. And I opened a ticket with them last time, and they ignored me. So, uh, again, I apologize if it has taken longer than, than usual. So send me another reply, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Thank you in the meantime to Remy Remy, Natalie Tyson, Dold Waldo, Fang Swiftwing, Lopta, Pikuuni, Din, Ira, Jonah Waters, Garnuba, Bobby Pants, Sotha, Silt Strider, Sean Kellett, Tim Hill, Leech Green, Jason Ganser, Star Lord, Nixie Poo, God of Femboys, Rutet Roll, Captain Cape, Roman Von Klein, Kestrian, Edwin, Dodo, Shane McGuckin, Johanno, Charles Howard, and Blood Riot. It's monkey time. <laughs>